How you guys look folks here and welcome to another FIFA 21 What If Player Review. The first player that I'm reviewing from the uh, from the Team 2 of this uh, What If promo and it might probably be the last one because they are so expensive. I wanted to try and review Richarlison because he looks absolutely amazing but he's what like over 2 million coins or something like that so that's not going to happen and Everton will score 6 goals in the next 5 games. That's just like an absolute guarantee. I, I don't see a world in which they... Uh, they don't do that, so of course, that's kind of the reason why he's already so expensive, but um, in the end, I went with Lucas Leiva, bought him for 195,000 coins, just sold him for 115,000 coins, so with tax loss, about 80 to 85,000 coins, which is fantastic, and... Um, yeah, uh, I ended up playing three games of him. Zero goals scored and one assist. He does have three star skill moves as well as three star before. Has some really nice in-game stats. 91 interceptions, uh, 92 composure, 88 short passing, 88 stand tackle. I did have the entry cams that apply to him. He then has the one AI trait of dives into tackles as well. Of course, the former Liverpool player who... I want back at Liverpool. I'm not gonna lie. I think he'd improve our team uh, at this rate. It's kind of a bit of a, a bit of a mess watching us right now. Um, but he's doing pretty well with Lazio. Of course, Lazio got quite a decent team. You know, Casado, Carrera, Immobile, Savic. Um, I don't know who they've got in their back line. I'm, I'm struggling to remember who they've got. I probably should remember that, but my mind's gone blank. And of course, he will go to a 90 rated card if Lazio scores six goals in the next five games, which they will do because, of course, they're one of the better teams in the Serie A. I'm guessing they're in like the top five, top six at the moment. Uh, I'm pretty certain, maybe even like top four. Um, but, but yeah, you know, listen, let's look at the other card, and he's okay. You know, he, there's nothing wrong with this card too much. It's just, I don't find him very exciting. Um, I, I think his best position. Probably is the CDM position, if I'm totally honest. Uh, I used him as a box to box for it in a 4-2-4, which still requires him to, you know, to, to obviously do like some defensive play, uh, which he did do. And um, what I, I've said, I'm, I'm only like the one formation that I'm using now for the rest of this game is the 4-2-4 formation because no other formation works for me. Even then, with the 4-2-4 right now, I'm still I'm struggling at the moment. I've been relegated twice over the past few days from Division Two, and now I'm in, uh, I'm in Division Four at the moment. So I don't know what's going on, but. Um, but yeah, it's not the end of the world, I suppose. But yeah, listen, his tackling's fine. He's got nice, uh, you know, defensive stats all around. Uh, won the ball, uh, you know, um, quite well back from him on on a few occasions. I don't think his physicality is quite as good as what it says to be in game. Uh, I haven't put down um, when you go to the summary part of the video. I haven't put down any negatives to him, but one negative that I would put down to him that I just forgot to add would be that he feels clunky. Uh, and whilst you know, to be fair, like he actually has really good dribbling stats. Like they're all in the eighties, uh, mid to high eighties, even with composure at 92 but he feels slow on the ball so slow to be able to turn and I'm not expecting him to feel like a lean on Messi in that you know how uh, nimble how light how easy it is to be able to turn with him I'm not expecting that from him but I'm not expecting him to feel so slow on the ball to be able to turn with him. you know you you don't want that from from any player on your team at this stage of the game and uh, and and that's what I felt when when using this cards just just so slow on the ball uh, his passing though was good one assist in the three matches was able to feed balls through pretty well towards the two strikers uh, Van Basten and Crespo down to the left-hand side of, of uh, Felipe Anderson and even towards Salah as well. 87 in both long passing and vision, also 88 short passing as well. As passing, you know, it, it, it is good, but there's so many of the cards like him in this game, like so, so many. And uh, and whilst I do think he will go to a 90 rated, I don't see a world in which Lazio don't score six goals in the next five games. Um, I, I think they're very much nailed on to be able to do that. I don't know what their upcoming fixtures are, but they, you know, they will fulfill the, the six goals. I'm very much confident of that, but... Um, would I recommend him? I mean, as, as like a Liverpool throwback squad, he'd be pretty cool. I, I myself just, I'm not interested in him, to be quite honest. I don't think he does anything that we haven't seen from, from other players. There's nothing really unique about him, in my opinion. Um, he didn't do nothing, like, necessarily too wrong. But he, he does feel clunk in the ball. I, I won't lie. That, that that probably is like the biggest downer to this card. Um, but yeah, you know, his defensive play, his, his passing was nice. But once again, it's just something that so many of the cards do. He has nice stats in some areas. He did, but, you know, a, again, dribbling wise and, and physicality wise, he just isn't up to what the card says. Um... You know, so obviously, you know, his dribbling looks pretty decent on the card. His physical has looks very, very decent. But actually, in-game, I don't think they're very good on the whole. I don't think he's weak. I just don't think he's quite as strong as as, as the card and stat-wise makes out for, for, you know, for him to be. So, on the whole, yeah, it, it, it's a card that um, would I recommend him. You know, I think he'll do all right when, you know, he's in your team. But he's not going to set the world alight, in my personal opinion. You know, put it that way. But, so that, yeah, that, that, you know, that's my honest opinion on him. I think he's okay value for money. I think he's an all right card. But he's just, he's just nothing insane, in my, you know, at least in my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys later.